If your head's not exploding by now, it well, I'd be surprised if it's not, because if this is new to you and you're seeing this for the first time, I, I know how I was. I was just like, this is amazing. ChatGTP has been used by entrepreneurs, content creators, bloggers, small businesses, marketers, and and more. I, I, I can't think of a use case where you couldn't use ChatGPT. It is the fastest growing app in the history of apps, in the history of the internet, in the history of the world. It had over 100 million users in the first two months. That's five times faster than Facebook, TikTok, or any other app ever. But I hope I've got your attention because this is a phenomenal tool and we're gonna learn how to use it for your nonprofit. So real quick, what is ChatGPT and how do you use it? Well, think of ChatGPT as a personal assistant that can do pretty much anything you ask of it. You need a recipe on how to make baked Alaska? Just type it in and get your answer. You know how to clear your browser cache? Type it in and get your answer. Need a 300 word blog post on how to change tire? Type it in and get your answer. So now that you have an idea of how ChatGPT works, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create a fundraiser using ChatGPT. So before we get started, you may wanna go ahead and get a ChatGPT account. They're free and it's very easy to sign up for. I'm gonna put a link to the account sign up page down below in the description. So you can just go ahead and click on that. Once you click on that, you'll get a page that looks very similar to the one you're looking at here. And just go ahead and click that green sign up button. It's a pretty painless process. And like I said, it's free and it's worth it. So go ahead and get that ready. Now, when you begin using ChatGPT, it's important to understand that ChatGPT will give you different answers every time you use it. So if you type in the exact same prompt, the exact same question, it's gonna give you a different answer each time. Some of those answers might be really good and some may lack the detail that you need. So it's really important to put good prompts in to the chat GPT. The great thing about using this is that you can ask follow-up questions. So if you get an answer that's a little off mark or maybe doesn't have the details you want, you can follow up and ask more questions. Chat GPT has a memory in it for every chat that you create, so it's going to give its answers based on its previous discussion with you. And that's exactly what we're going to do now as we dive into creating a fundraising campaign. So let's go ahead and log in to chat GPT. So I'm going to start with a general prompt asking ChatGPT to come up with ideas on a fundraiser for an animal shelter. And it says, I need to raise 5,000 for an animal shelter fundraiser. Can you give me five ideas on how to do this? All right, I'm just going to simply copy this and I'm going to paste it into the prompt box down here below. So as you can see, ChatGPT just starts right away giving you different ideas for fundraising. These are actually pretty good ideas. Charity runs, silent auctions, Bake sales, I'm not a big fan of bake sales. Um, ooh, partnering with a local restaurant, that's pretty creative actually, I like that. Uh, pet parade, that would be fun, right? So as you can see, ChatGPT gave some well thought out answers and fairly creative, like things that I actually wasn't really thinking of, like a bake sale, I'm not a big fan of those, but um, it, silent auctions, partnering with a local restaurant, or doing a pet parade, you know, those, those are fun ideas. So the thing is, now we have this conversation going on with ChatGPT that we can do follow-up questions. As long as you don't create a new chat, you can ask ChatGPT to build on what it's already created. So let's say I like these ideas, but you know what? I, let's have a few more. So I'm gonna tell ChatGPT to come up with five more ideas and let's see how creative and how different these new ideas are. To do this, I'm simply gonna ask ChatGPT to give me another five ideas for the fundraiser. Ooh, pet photo contests. I like that. Host a pet friendly movie nights. You might have some uh, copyright things you might have to worry about depending on the movie that you're renting out. Charity auctions, dog wash. All right. And you can keep going like this and keep asking it to generate or expand upon different ideas. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these ideas and we're gonna turn it into a marketing campaign. So we're gonna use ChatGPT to take one of the ideas here and turn it, now let's turn that into the fundraiser. So. Let's say the, the pet photo contest. I like the idea of pet photo contest. And right now I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to create a marketing campaign for us so that we can actually run a successful pet photo fundraiser. So here's the prompt I'm gonna be using. 
I'm gonna let ChatGPT know that I like number one, the pet photo contest. And I wanted to create a marketing plan for this pet photo contest. And that it should tell me when and how often to send emails, publish blog posts, and post to Facebook. And then also letting him know that the fundraiser is gonna be two weeks long and that the goal again is to raise $5,000. So let's go ahead and take this prompt. We're gonna copy it and then we're gonna paste it down here in the prompt input area and hit enter. All right, so here's our marketing plan. Day one, create a blog post, Facebook post, um, send an email, publish a blog. This is actually pretty good. There's good details here. And then week two, share some of the pet photos submitted, send up a follow-up email. Look at that, that's a pretty well thought out campaign. That's two weeks of social media posting, blog posting and emailing that you're gonna be sending out, right? So here is our outline. We could actually literally take this and paste it into a Word document or a calendar and set up our schedule. And maybe this is a little too um, ambitious for us, or maybe it's not ambitious enough. Maybe our followers are used to hearing from us more frequently. So maybe we add in um, a social media post every day as opposed to every other day, or we um, are emphasizing the use of our email marketing more, so we're gonna email more frequently. Um, but this gives us a great outline, a good starting point. And you can take this and literally paste it in to Word or start copying it over to a calendar, and now you have a campaign strategy for this pet photo contest. Now let's take this a step further. I've never really run a pet photo contest, and I'm not exactly sure how to do it. So we're gonna ask ChatGPT in this same conversation, right? Because we've already built up a little wealth of knowledge and a conversation is going. So don't start a new chat. Always follow up in the same chat, unless you're starting a new topic. Always follow up in the same chat. And I'm gonna ask it for some photo contest rules. Like, how am I gonna run this? I'm not sure. So I'd be interested to see what ChatGPT has to say about that. Now remember, ChatGPT's answers are only as good as the prompts that it receives. So if you give it a, a prompt that doesn't have a lot of details, like if I said, now create some rules for this contest, that would be very different than if we use something with more details. So that's why this prompt ask it one, to create the contest rules. And I ask in here what to include, guidelines for how to submit the photo, what types of photos are acceptable, and how are we gonna determine who wins? So again, I'm just gonna copy this prompt in here and we're gonna paste that into our chat that we've been having with ChatGPT. And I'd be interested to see what it comes up with here. So I'm just gonna hit enter. Great, how to submit photos. Email to a designated email address, that's fine. Photo guidelines, oh, the type of photo, the size of the resolution, the deadline, right? By the 12th day of the contest. Oh, the entry fee, right? Cause we are raising money. Oh, who is open to determining the winner will be based on the number of votes received per photo. And then finally, some terms. This looks really good. Well, that's good. That's actually some good guidelines. There's things that I actually didn't think of, like telling people what resolution to send us the photos in or um, some terms and conditions, right? Like they're actually giving us the permission to use their photos for other purposes. So that's actually some really good stuff. Now, let's just do one more thing with this because we can keep going on and on. We can ask it to create the first email and we can ask it to help us find volunteers. I'm really curious on how I'm gonna raise $5,000 doing this because at $10 in entry fee, that's 500 dog photos. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get that, right? If you're in LA, maybe you can, but if you are in small town Pennsylvania, you might be lucky to get 50 people. So let's go ahead and create a prompt asking it how we can use this fundraiser to use money outside of just taking entry fees. So I'm gonna create that prompt now and share it with you. All right, so here's the prompt I'm planning on using. I'm asking it to come up with five other ways we can raise money with the Pet Photo Fundraiser outside of just charging an entry fee. So I'm gonna be curious on seeing how ChatGPT responds to this because sometimes it just might come up with five new fundraisers. And so that's why I put in here the specific name of the fundraiser, the pet photo fundraiser, so that ChatGPT can stay on track and know that we're still talking about the pet photo fundraiser and not a new one. So I need five ways to raise money um, outside of entry fees. 
I'm gonna copy that in here and let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. Oh, it, under, it looks like it understood the question, right? So sponsors, reach out to local businesses to sponsor it. Um, donations outside of that, I think, may, I would hope that you're already encouraging people to donate while this contest is going on. Um, you got your merch, if you have merch. You can combine it with an auction or maybe even a virtual event where you, I like that, where you feature the winning photo during a virtual online event. So here's some more strategies for you on how to raise this money. So I could continue down this road and keep asking ChatGPT for further insight and information on how to run this fundraiser. So I could have it write the first email for me. I could ask it to give me an idea of what to put in my blog post or what social media post I should be adding to encourage people to participate. So you can just continue to generate ideas and content using ChatGPT. So it's important to remember that ChatGPT is only as good as the information that's given to it. So it's really important to develop a really well-structured prompt. The better the prompt, the better the answer. And we'll go into that in other videos on how to develop really good, succinct prompts that are gonna give you the exact answers that you want. Well, maybe not the exact. It isn't a faultless, flawless system, but it's gonna be a lot better than just typing in a single sentence and hoping. So if you wanna learn how to generate proper prompts for ChatGBT that give you more of the answer that you're looking for, then go down in the description below and sign up for our nonprofit chat GPT course. It's a free course and there's a link in the description below. Just click on that, sign up, and you will be in the course. Also, there are going to be more videos. In fact, I want to know what you want to know. So go ahead and in the comments below, put in there some ideas and questions on chat GPT. What do you want to try to use it for? What are some of the challenges that your nonprofit is having that you maybe chat GPT can help you with? So go ahead and put your suggestions for future videos and topics and things you want us to address in the comments below. All right, that's gonna wrap up this video. Folks, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you do give it a like down below, subscribe to the channel and follow us for future updates. Until next time, thanks for watching folks. Bye.